Hey guys, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. Today I'm going to go over this makeup look with you. So if this is something you'd like to watch, please continue. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I already washed my face. Now I'm going to prep my skin. One of my favorite like preps for my skin is, okay, so there's a few. So Pore Filler by NYX, I absolutely love. Um, if you have any like larger pores like I do, if you have oily skin, you probably have bigger pores. Pore Filler is really good. Also Shine Killer by NYX is really good. When I would work on After Buzz or anything with TV, I would always put Shine Killer on because it eliminates all the shine. I have a few of the pore fillers. I absolutely love those. Um, okay, so the one that I'm going to use right now is I'm going to use Too Faced Hangover. The reason I like Too Faced Hangover is because it has coconut oil in it and it is super hydrating. So you can use this just as a moisturizer. Like let's say you ran out of moisturizer, this is great to use. Um, I always used to use moisturizer as a primer. I didn't really realize there was a difference until maybe like two years ago. The reason why primer is so important is because your makeup sticks to it and it also fills in any like holes you might have or any lines or imperfections you have on your skin. So for me, I always use a, I always, always will use a primer and Too Faced Hangover, one of my faves. I am going to color correct. So this is from NYX. This is the color correcting concealer. It's like a little, um, I just love this. It's, you know, it's six colors. You can really use this for anything. You can even use this to contour if you want. Uh, it's very inexpensive. I believe this was under, you know, I don't know how much. It was definitely under $20 at, um, I think I got it at CVS. But you can get NYX really at like a lot of different places. They even have some NYX stores in LA. I don't know if they have them here in Massachusetts or like if they have them in other places. Okay, so I always color correct under my eyes. I have really light skin. So for me, if I don't color correct, you can really see. So I like to use this kind of like peachy orange color. Becca Cosmetics also has a really nice one that I used to always use. Um, I just find that this palette is really nice because it's all together. If you have anything, if you have um, any kind of color issue, I just find that this is like really easy to just grab. And then let's say you have like some kind of acne, just like a little green. Like if I have any red spots, I'll put a little green on them on those red spots. And then sometimes I take a little bit of the purple and I put it around my nose because I have broken capillaries. Just from being like really light skinned, sometimes I get those. Um, so then yeah, I normally just blot everything in like that. You don't have to like be perfect about it. L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I have this in W1-2. This is Porcelain Ivory. I absolutely love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I find it to be such a good drugstore foundation. It's lightweight, so it's not full, full coverage. Like I don't feel like I look like I have cake face on when I'm wearing it. I think it's light, but it's not too light. I just love the coverage on it, you know, it's not, does that make sense? It's not too, it's not too thick, but it's not too light. For me, I just find that it's a very nice color. Um, it's a very nice foundation. I like the formula a lot. I also find that it doesn't break me out. Like if my, my skin, I feel like never breaks out when I use this. And because it's drugstore, I know like a lot of people might not like it because it's drugstore or maybe they'll like it more because it's drugstore. Me personally, I really find that it's a very, just a, it's a nice foundation. So if you haven't tried it, try it. I'm actually gonna put my contacts in. Next, I'm gonna put some MAC. This is MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I'm just gonna put it on my lids. What this does, it just makes your eyeshadow go on like super creamy. Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the Instant Age Rewind FX. I love this concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on any blemishes I have. I'm gonna put it around my eyes. I also put it on my chin. I put it on my cupid's bow, down my nose, and right here in like a triangle on my forehead. And then I just blot it with my wet beauty blender or my damp beauty blender.
This is from NYX. It's the Wonder Stick. So what I like about this, kind of like a double-sided dildo, is here there's like a highlighter part if you want to use that to highlight. And then this is the contour part, which I've only used the contour part. I haven't really used the highlighting part. But I like it because I like the shape. I like that it's um, like the color. And I also feel like it is very buildable. Like I don't feel like when I put it on, I'm if I if I put too much contour on, I don't feel like I look muddy. It it blends easily. And it's like a very warm color. But I just like to do this just to give me like a little bit more definition. And then sometimes, not all the time, like I don't contour every time I do my makeup. But I like to do my jaw. Just to give my jaw like a little bit more definition. Do my nose just a little bit. And what that does is it gives you like that little like um I think feel like for me it makes my nose look a little bit more um sculpted, but then also it gives me that little like boop at the end. And then I always do under my lip so it makes your lips look like they're so big that you have a shadow. So what I do is I take my damp beauty blender and I go like this just on my jaw and under my eyes. Do under my eyes. I like to get my nose too, so then it makes my nose look smaller. And on top of making my nose look smaller, it um, just really holds in the moisture. So uh, what I do is I just curl them. This is from L'Oreal Voluminous Base. This is my eyelash primer that I've been using for a few months and I really do like it. This is my favorite highlighter. This is from Becca Cosmetics. It's Champagne Pop, Jaclyn Hill. I love this. So I use it on my cheeks like this. Then I put it on my nose and I put it on my cupid's bow. Ooh, I love this highlighter. Favorite. I always keep makeup wipes handy. I love these ones, they're from Neutrogena. You can get a huge pack of them for like under $20 from Costco. So I always do use this on my lips. Let's get off all the makeup. And then I will use it on my brows to just get any makeup off. Tartiste. This is my like new favorite mascara. This is from Tarte. I absolutely love it. After I do my top lashes, I let them dry. And then I do a little bit on my bottom lashes. NYX Matte Liquid Liner is my favorite liquid liner. I love just how smooth it goes on. I'm going to put this on off camera because I don't know how the hell I'm going to film this on here. So this is something I picked up at IMATS. This is the Kelly Baker um, way of doing brows. I don't know if that's like the proper way of saying it. Um, but yeah, so this is from Kelly Baker. And when I was at IMATS, one of her people did my eyebrows and I absolutely love them. So the first step is you take the highlighter and you put the highlighter right underneath your brows like that. So you just do like a line run underneath like that. Very simple. I just found that this was like the most simple way of doing my brows and it was just so natural looking and nice. And then you take this brush and you drag down the highlighter like this. And then you take her brow brush which just looks like an average brow brush and you just put like a few lines and I got the color brown and the girl that worked there said that like the color brown works on everyone she was like if you have dark brows if you have light brows she's like something about the brown just works on everyone I just really like it. It's very natural. And then this is the thing that I really like the most. This is the tinted brow gel. So it kind of looks like mascara, but for your brows and it's super thin. 
And I'm trying to like grow mine out so I like them looking bushy. So I do like a little bit more there and then throughout the entire brow. I love this. I just love this these steps. I just think it looks so natural. And then this is the Kelly Baker highlighter. So you can use uh, just your average normal highlighter. I'm just going to use a little bit just to show you. So you can like put it on your finger and then just do it right there. And it just gives your eyebrow like a little bit more of an arch. Next I'm going to take, this is Truffle from Dose of Color. And I'm just going to put it on. Well, I hope you guys like this makeup look. If this is something you'd like to see me do again in the future, please leave me a comment letting me know what type of makeup look you would like. Also, I'm sorry about like the setup. This was my first time doing it in my new apartment. I hope you guys like it. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.